There is a tendency of approaching a 3D molding software like you would a plain piece of paper. Because when you are sketching, you make a drawing, in this case it may be a floor plan, and right next to it you create support drawings, relative views of the same thing, which may include the front elevation, the rear elevation, the side elevations, and sometimes a section as well. But when we get this kind of workflow and bring it into WorkCAD, it looks something like this, and this this is not how Archicad actually works. So today we'll try and challenge this kind of workflow because if you have been working like this, then you have been missing something really, really important. Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Nightex Studio. So today we're going to kind of take this mess that we have created, different drawings all over the place and combine them all into one. And why you may ask? Well, it's because Archicad expects you to work like that. They expect you to have the ground floor on the ground for the first floor on its respective first floor. The elevations in their respective flows like you can see on the tabs right there. Well, of course, there are advantages of actually doing that. One is that in case you make any changes or updates, such as moving walls or enlarging the openings like the doors and windows, then it will automatically update in the respective views and elevations. Secondly, if you wanted to slap in a graphic override on top of everything, well, then you can affect things differently. For example, the ground floor could have a different need of line weight, uh, which is different from the elevation. So it becomes easy for you to use a different graphic override for the plan and a different graphic override for the different elevations in order to have the drawings much more communicative of what you think. Well, then a question comes in, for example, how do you make a site plan? Because definitely in Akikad, we do not have a tab dedicated to the site plans. Well, you have to do that on the ground floor because most of the time you need the site information on the ground floor. Sometimes it may be on the lower or whatever ground that you might need. But still, on the ground floor, you have to make these different elements. Site plan needs different information from the floor plan itself, because on the floor plan, you add in details such as the dimensions, the floor finishes, things like that, and the levels. Whereas on the site plan, you include the information about the context of the building. It's the building plus its main vicinity, such as the access road, the gate itself, parking, the compound space and the backyard space. All that stuff is supposed to be included on the site plan. But now how do we create that information when we have just this one drawing? Well, instead of just getting the ground floor and duplicating it in order to create this different view, there's a way we can do it, which is by using layers. You create a layer combination which is going to work for the site plan and a different layer combination that's going to work for the floor plan. Because if you had all this stuff in one drawing, it would be too much information. And like I said, this is made possible by using layers. Well, if you have used Photoshop before, then the concept of layers is going to be easy for you because it's about you know stacking things on top of, it, of another. If you are familiar with Photoshop, then the concept of layers is not alien to you. Because essentially what layers are is a stack of elements that join together to create the final piece and in the same way to create a floor plan in Akikad you have the walls you have columns you have furniture you have slabs and all those are on different layers and these layers are stacked up together to create the views that we want to create and we cannot talk about layers without talking about the layer combinations. Think of them as groups, as compositions or clusters. Similarly, in Photoshop, we have what we call groups, where you have a bunch of layers that you group together and you can turn them on, you can turn them off, depending on whether or not you want them to show or what kind of effect you are looking for. And now it's time to get a little bit practical. But before we get there, I'd like to stress that the ability for you to hide things and show others is such an important skill to have as an architect or any other kind of sort of artist, whether it is a guitarist, because as a guitarist, at one point you have to learn as much as you are playing certain strings to make the sound thereof, you also need to mute certain strings not to create certain discords. A filmmaker also knows that they have to crop out some things and remove them from the frame and keep some things that are concentrating on the subject and in the same way when you want to make a render for something 
in a rendering engine, you focus more on the building and you crop out the things which are on the exterior, things that we do not need really. So it's the same thing. It's show the layer that you want to show and hide the rest that are containing the information that you do not want to see. So let's head over for a practical session. So we have a four bedroom building in this case for our example. And if I do select any of these walls, you can see they are existing on a certain layer. And in order to make it simple, we are going to have these walls on a different layer, which I'm going to name as 001 walls. And in order to, to create layers, you have to go to document, layers, and you can have the layers panel there. And we can say new to create a new layer. And we can also do that for the layer combinations. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and have everything on a layer. So when I select this wall, you can see it's 001 wall. And when I select this furniture, you can see it's on the furniture's layer. So if we had everything that we needed on this drawing it would look something like this where we have those dimensions and those text and this is site information as well and that we do not need like we said before we have to hide certain information so some of the information is going to be on a layer which i have called the site plan layer so on the site plan layer i've included the walls made sure that the dimensions do not show on that layer and it's as easy as in the layers panel all you have to do is to select that layer which is the dimensions layer and head over to the site plan layer combination and turn that off as simple as that so now when i say okay you can see that those disappear and that's all you have to do i know not so many people want to do this kind of work because it sounds to be a lot of work but for any kind of sort of sustainable approach to design it always has an initial cost attached to it and that is the time you have to put in the time to set everything from the ground up such that in case you make any iterations because later on we are going to have revisions we have revision one revision two up the other way revision six revision seven and you have the final revision or the final final revised because the projects tend to to stick around for long enough and to account for all that time. When we do that from the ground up, then we save ourselves some time as we work on those. Because we know that when a wall moves, everything that is has that information will move with it. For example, in the site plan, we do not have to worry because when we move a wall, it is going to be moving on the site plan, it will move on the floor plan, and everything else. So you have to put in the, the time, just like you need electricity from solar panels, which is a sustainable approach. You have to incur the initial cost of buying the solar panels. Or if you needed one from biogas, well, you have to put in the money for the biogas. A person who does not invest in that do not have to worry about the initial cost of all the things and elements that are involved in the process of making such a source of power but you have to put in the work and it will pay down in the next revisions, the final, final, revised, final, whatever revisions you have for your project. And just like that, you can see that now we have two sets of drawing. We have the first set of drawing, which has this floor plan, and we have the next set of drawing which has the side plan, but all of this stuff is using one model. We did not copy one and put it on the other side and started drawing the rest of the things of the information that's supposed to be. We have that information all in one place, but we have hidden the things that we do not want to see and show those which we do want to see. Well, if you find layers a bit overwhelming, don't worry, you are not the only one. But Trust me, the amount of time that you put in is going to be to pay off with time 
And uh, if you really want to take this to the next level, you also want to think about things like the renovation filters. And I have already made a video about that. And you can click here in order to watch that one and see what op uh, opportunities are there for you in Akkad. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.